Let's head back to the voicemail of Truth and Reason. Hey, Dave, love the show. Two things. I feel so bad for Jakeem Grant, man. We signed him, and he's been hurt both times he's touched the field for the Browns. The first time he touches the field for the Browns last year, he gets hurt. This year, the first kickoff, he gets hurt. I feel bad for that guy. Second thing, when is somebody going to let Andrew Barry and Kevin Stefanski know that it's okay to miss on a draft pick? Because Cade York is a big miss. He's a miss. He's not that guy. And you're going to hinge him to your team. You have a championship competitive roster, and this guy is going to kick you out of the playoffs. He's going to kick you out of game. This guy isn't the guy. They need to do something because this kid just, when the light doesn't click when it's time for him to be the man. When you put him center stage, he folds. All right. Love the show. Go Browns. Ooh, ooh, ooh. As always, appreciate all the voicemails. Um, Tim, I, I, they looked at it and said, Tells you their belief is they can win now. If, if you're that concerned about a kicker, and you need to be, um, that's why you make that move with a fourth-round pick. And I mean, you know, going back to the, you know, the narrative of Andrew Berry not cutting draft picks, you know, already the season, you know, in just the last few days, he's cut two of his own picks. Anthony Schwartz, Schwartz got cut yesterday. Cade York today, even going back early in the preseason, Perry on Winfrey was cut. You know, last year, uh, Richard LeCount, a fifth round pick was cut and potentially there could be more, you know, draft picks cut. I mean, you know, there's an uncertainty whether Isaiah Thomas will make the team. Uh, Tony Fields is a question mark. Jordan Elliott, you know, Harrison Bryant, Demetri Felton, you know, plenty of Andrew Berry draft picks could be on the blo- on the bubble as far as making this roster. And that's, I think, normal. Not every GM is going to hit on picks. And when you're talking about picks after the second round, where you're talking late third round picks, because I think we also have to mention about Anthony Schwartz, for example, 91st overall, that's a late late third round pick i mean that's almost in the compensatory area even the best gms miss on those once in a while the makes are the aberration you know the hits are kind of are the aberration to the misses and you know when you, when you talk about k york yeah it's a fourth round pick yeah there may be players you can get but the fact is he also won a football game with the 58 yard field goal that's that's pretty solid value for a late fourth round pick would have been obviously you you're drafting and hoping he's the long-term kicker so from that perspective it didn't work out but you'd almost i think me personally when it comes to drafting i'd almost rather swing for the fences and if i miss i miss and it was a late it was a later pick so you kind of move on from that but again moving on from like you said shows the browns are understand the urgency of starting the season off on the right foot considering the schedule that they have and you got to eliminate that question mark at kicker as best you can the other thing is you move on from draft picks as you get a more mature roster and you feel like you're competing so i think they didn't move on from their draft picks because they felt like they were building their roster now that you put the quarterback in and you have them it's time to go